So if you are camper shopping, or you already have a camper, you completely understand when I say there is no perfect camper, you always find something that you could change or want to add or redo on your camper. Well, why not? So today I'm gonna to destroy our new camper to try to make it our own. That makes sense. Let's see how this goes. Oh, why would you wanna take this out, you ask? There's your problem. It's so short, it's deceiving. You only get half the space of this, and it's only this is 15 inches deep, and you only get 10 inches of drawer. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's not gonna work for full-time living. Out. So what are you gonna do with this space, you ask? That is a great question. We have a six bin cube storage that we're gonna put in place of these imposter drawers, and hopefully that'll give us enough room to be able to add a desk for April to work on the other end. Let's quit talking about it and get started. Ew, the grease on these ball bearings is just terrible. Ugh. Okay, so I got all the drawers out, but you can see there is the problem. That's what we have to work around. That's why that is there because of the plumbing that goes to our washer and dryer prep, which we hopefully intend to use someday soon. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna have to work around and that's gonna be the obstacle. So we'll see what we can do. I highly recommend that you buy a square tip screwdriver and keep with you at all times in your camper. This square tip screwdriver will fit almost every screw in your camper and it's so much easier than a Phillips and a flathead because it grips the screw better and it's less likely to strip it out. Get one of these and then also an adapter for your, or a bit for your drill. Okay, so I now have all 13 screws. <laughs> all 13 screws uh, out for this little piece and um, it's completely free now. See daylight, yes. So we'll get this out of here and see what it looks like. I recruited my helper. <laughs> Ooh, all right, go, go down the steps. We'll just take it out if that's okay. Yeah. Since you're not doing nothing. <laughs> Gotta sweep up the floor real quick so no one says, ew, their camper's disgusting. Okay, so now with that out of the way, it looks completely different. You can clearly see my obstacles here that I have to figure out how to raise the cube storage up, and hopefully I'll be able to cover all of these holes. It's pretty funny, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 screw holes, and only three screws were here on the backside holding it uh, from coming forward. So there's a lot of times, a lot of places that they missed the stud. That's okay, I'll cover it up, Grand Design. I want to show real quick a little trick that I've learned, and y'all probably already know it already as well, but when you run into places where screws have come out, like in your, your camper or on any, really any wall, uh, it'll leave this little edge all the way around where the screw was. Take your little hammer, and in this case it's a broken <laughs> dead blow hammer, uh, but it's plastic, so you can take a, a plastic hammer or a hard rubber hammer and just kind of where that, that piece comes out, just kind of hit around it. And that'll lay it. That'll lay it down enough to where you can see it's it's a little bit better. It's not going to fix it, obviously. Don't hit it too hard too, because you'll go through the wall. But yep. So that's just what I do uh, to cover some of these up, or to make them look a little better. Woo! That one. Man, that one. They really got bad. Uh, but. Yeah, so I'll finish doing that around here. A lot of these are stripped out screws where they didn't hit the stud, uh, but I will get that done and we'll see what next to do. Oh my goodness, yeah. Okay, so here is the replacement. The only problem is this sits flush on the ground and I'm gonna have to raise it up because of, you can see the beam, that piece of metal, that black piece is a beam for the frame. And then also obviously the uh, plumbing there, the elephant in the room, the plumbing, so I'm gonna raise this up four and a half inches and I'm gonna set the back side of this on top of that beam and screw it all down somehow, some way. Yeah. And that's just gonna be a decorative piece on the end to cover up where the plumbing comes through the wall or through the floor. Huge hole, can't miss it. Can now.
I know, I know, I know. There's probably not the way to do it, but listen, Bob Vila, I'm getting it done, okay? So there's that. I put the other two on and all I did was just spray paint. <laughs> I just spray painted some lumber that I cut to size. This is a 2x4 and then this is a piece that I had left over from when I remodeled uh, some area, the lower bunk area in our 31MB. So I had this extra piece laying around uh, but I cut it to size and I'll do that. Like I said, put on the other two legs and then get this thing to the wall. I don't know exactly how yet, but I'll get it to the wall. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. this side you can see there's a gap but I took if you don't remember I took this box end off of the other end down there so now that we have shifted this over which was basically the same length or width excuse me as the the dresser the fake dresser that we took out um, I'm gonna be able to use this right here so I'll just knock this piece out and cut it down just a little bit to size and it'll go right there And there we go. All right, so there you have it. I know this is a funny angle, but it's the only way I could show you the entire uh, wall that we have changed. So we're gonna get some bins, some collapsible bins right here, um, and we'll hold all kinds of extra storage as opposed to the fake drawers that we had before. It's a really simple project. If you have a project like this, be brave, go for it. I think you can do it. And we'll put a desk over here on this side, um, we're gonna measure and find a desk to just put in that place so April can have some place to work without taking up the entire kitchen table. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your week.